the manager Mick O'Dwyer will have to say to them at half time Trey Lynch easily read by Tony Nation is playing just about anywhere and everywhere for Cork Paddy Hayes here inside towards Christy Ryan he got a couple of yards space that time ahead of Sean Wells waits looks for support it comes from Tony Davis the right corner back oh yes yes he's kicked it over Charlie Nelligan I think was arguing that it was wide but it's Cork's sixth point and it comes from their right corner back Cork now doing what Kerry have done to them so often in the past we've seen the forward supported by the backs Christy Ryan waited held it up beautifully for Tony Davis, Charlie Nelligan thought it was wide, but the umpire was adamant. It's six points to nil. Teddy McCarthy off balance, leaving it down to Timmy Dowd. Now Tommy Doyle, last year's captain, trying to carry the fight to the team from Cork. Pat Spillane inside towards Mikey Sheehy. Jackie O'Shea is on loose. They need a goal here, Kerry, badly, very badly. Jack O'Shea puts it over the bar. It may well spark off the recovery. Seven minutes gone in the second half. And now listen to the supporters of the team in green and gold. Not wanting to see the champions go out of this contest without a great old fight. And what a goal for Kerry would do for their confidence. So far they've just two points to show. Here's Owen Liston way outside his full forward position. Looking for support then driving it inside. Tony Nation reading and covering. Great covering off by the left half back to Tony Davis. A loose player with that loose clearance, giving it away to Kerry's Tom Spillane. An uncharacteristic error. Ambrose O'Donovan now operating on the full forward line. Back to Jack O'Shea, going for a goal. He's content for the point again for the second point inside two minutes for Jack O'Shea. Could so easily have been a goal. Watch as that loose ball from Tony Davis came over to Tom Spillane. He played it inside towards Ambrose O'Donovan, who flicked it down for the onrushing John Jack O'Shea. In fact, it was a Cork defender who did so, and over the bar with the shot. And there's the whistle. Cork are the champions. In what surely is the end of a glorious era of Kerry football, Cork win by 13 points to a goal and five.